Welcome to labmins.com and our lab video series on Cisco VSG and ASA1000V. You can find a complete list of VSG and ASA1000V video on our website by clicking on the link above and sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. If you've watched our VSG and ASA1000V videos, you should realize by now that VNMC is an integral part of the system. Since all of the configuration are performed and stored on VNMC, especially for VSG, it is very crucial to have a backup copy of VNMC config database should you need to recover the VMC from a disaster. In this video, we will go through backup and restore exercise for Cisco VNMC. Here's our lab setup. We're going to take the whole network setup from our previous lab that has Nexus 1000V, VSG, and ASA 1000V, and we're going to perform a backup on the VNMC via FTP to a server.40, and then we're going to shut that server down. And we're going to bring up a fresh new copy of VNMC. I'm going to try to restore the config and make sure everything gets back to the way it was. First, we're going to lock into the VNMC to make sure that everything is in a good state. So here, with our existing VNMC server and administration, service registry, and clients. As you can see right here, we have VSM, VSG, and SA1000V, and all of them are in the operational state of registered. Okay, so everything is in a good state at this point, and then Next thing we're going to do is to launch our FTP server and we're going to be pointing to a directory that we have on our desktop called VNMC Backup. Okay, now we can go ahead and create our backup session. Here we go under the administration operations and click on create backup operation. Let's keep the admin state disabled at this point. Protocol, there's four valuable protocols for you to use. For us, we use FTP. Hostname is the IP of the FTP server, 32.40. Username is Cisco and for the path is absolute path which is the root and we're going to call the file vnmc in the score backup. You can see we're not being asked for the account password at this time so we can go apply and OK. At this point the backup will not start until you go back and you click on enable on the admin state. Let me make sure we have a console to the FTP server running in the background so we can kind of monitor the activity also. For the password, we type in the password of the account and then we click apply. We just have to give it a second. And you can see there's some activity on the FTP server. And it looks like the backup is finished. And if you go back to the VNMC backup directory, we can see there's a backup file right there, although the file is not too big, 123 KB. And you can see once the backup is finished, the admin state goes back to disable until the next time you want to run another backup. Okay, now that we have a good backup file, we're going to take our existing VNMC server offline. So the way we're going to do that is to take it off the network by changing the VLANs on the network adapter to some other VLAN right here. Let me make sure it's no longer pingable. So we're trying to ping 32.32. .32. You can see the IP is no longer seen on the network. Okay, at this point, we can assume that your primary or your main VNMC server has failed. So now what we need to do is to remove the policy agent from each of the components that we have, which is Nexus 1000V, ASA, and VSG. So let's start off with the VSG. So let me lock into the VSG. And then to remove the policy agent, which is going to take away the image. So under VNM policy agent command, you can do no policy agent image. Let's take that away. And if you do show VNM PA status, you can see now I said not install. Now for the ASA, if you have the ASA running in the VNMC mode, you can go into the ASA and then do a no VNMC policy agent just to delete the policy agent. But we have ASA running in ASDM mode, so it's prompting you to remove the VNMC organization configuration first. So if you do show run VNMC, you can see right here, there's a command for that. And let's go ahead and try to remove that. What it's going to do is it's going to try to contact the VNMC server. But obviously, the VNMC server is off the network, and it's going to come back and report it's not reachable. So it's timed out, and it's not really possible to remove that command or any other related config for the VNMC. If you are running ASDM mode, there isn't really anything that you need to do. As you see later on in this video, it will register just fine when we bring back the VNMC server. So at this point, we're just going to move on. Now the last thing that we need to 
remove the policy agent is from the VSM. And here we are in the interface of the Nexus 1000V. If you go under VNMC policy agent, and just like what we did on the VSG, it's to no policy agent image. At this point, we are ready to bring a fresh new install of the VNMC online. And right here, I have a VM running called lmvnmc new, which was installed with the exact same parameter as our original server. So let me update the adapter setting for this particular VM and put them on VLAN 32. You can see the ping starts to come back. And if you're trying to lock back into the server, okay, there's a chance we might need to clear the browser cache or history. So right here, clear history. And let's try that again. There you go. And now that we are in, you can see this is a fresh, clean install because we don't even have our organization hierarchy here, which so is default root. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the console interface to our new VNMC server and perform a config restore. Okay, the way to do that is you do connect local management, and then there's a command restore. And we're just going to point to the file or the location of the file, the backup file that we did a few minutes ago. So our account is Cisco Cisco at the IP of 172.16.32.40 and the file name is VNMC underscore backup. Again, let me, before I hit enter, let me clear the activity lock on the FTP server and then hit enter. And it's asking you for the, again, username, uh, the user password, enter. And you can see now it said, so many bytes received and it's going ahead and perform the config restore. And now it came back with restore successful. We can go back to the VNMC server and trying to lock in again. You can see it was fairly quick and we might need to clear the browser cache one more time just to make sure. All right, let's go ahead and lock into our new VNMC server that already has the config restore. And you can see the first thing you notice, we have our hierarchy back with tenant one, DC one, and app one. And if you go to the administration, and again, look at service registry and client, and you can see immediately we get a register state for our Nexus 1000V without having to do anything at all. I can just verify on the Nexus 1000V with show VNMC policy agent status. You can see the status is working properly. And again, this is also another benefit of running ASDM mode. It automatically discover the VNMC server as soon as the VNMC server comes back. Now we need to bring back our VSG and VSM. The next thing we're gonna do is to delete the VSM off our list. So you can see right click and then delete client. And then we're gonna get the VSM to register back to the VNMC. So I'm going to keep it on the background. We can probably be able to see the status of the device gets updated onto the table. So we're going to get back under VNM policy agent command on the Nexus 1000 V. And then we're going to make sure the share secret is there. So let's just go one, two, three, and then let's do dir, make sure that dir boot trash. I just want to get the name of the image and then get back under VNM policy agent and then policy agent image boot flash just point back to that image enter exit out and we'll come back and take another look at the status now you can see the update is in progress at the same time in the background it just got updated the this is without SNV just added to the list and now it's become registered just like how it was before. So we have pretty much done with the VSM. Now the last thing we need to bring back is the VSG. So let me lock back into the VSG and it will go under VNMC or VNM policy agent. Actually again, let me do dir boot flash and then VNM policy agent, share secret, Cisco one, two, three. And then policy agent image boot flash. I'll just copy the image from the boot flash and then enter. Again, exit, show VNM 
PA status. And again, it's saying the update is in progress. Give it a few seconds here. And the operational state again just has become registered. Okay, so it's said install successfully now. We have essentially successfully registered all three of our components back with the VNMC. Now let's just do some basic testing just to make sure that thing works the way it's supposed to. So I'm gonna bring up Web Server 1 and do some ping tests. There you go. First thing you want to ping is Web 2 server. You can see it's failing because we're not allowing any communication between the web zones. So that is basically verifying our policies on the VSG. And we can try to ping 34, which is a database server over here, 34. And you can see we're permitting ICMP between the web zone or from the web zone to the DB zone. And again, that's the responsibility of the VSG. And then we're trying to ping back to the NMS server. It is failing because VSG is blocking it based on the policy that we provided. Now let's try to access anything outside the network. So it's trying to ping a upstream switch over here at the 128.1 and that's going to test our connectivity through the ASA. And you can see that it's successful. So that also verify our NAT and access list and application uh, ICMP inspect on the ASA. And we can also try to ping the internet. And with that, if we go to cisco.com, we should have access also. Okay. And we can also ping th over through the VPN tunnel to our remote headquarters site. There you go. So we just basically verify that everything has returned to its previous state after our restore. And currently we are now running on completely brand new VM that we brought up using the config database restore. So you can see the procedure is fairly straightforward and it doesn't really take long at all as far as the restore process. Obviously it might take longer depending on the number of components or devices that you have registered to the VNMC. And I also just want to make a quick note that you might need to treat the ASA 1000V a little differently during the restore depending on which mode you're running on. In VNMC mode you might need to deregister your ASA 1000V and then re-register it manually. As opposed to if you were to run it on the ASDM mode, the ASA seems to connect back to the VNMC automatically as soon as it detects that the VNMC is alive. So that wraps up our video on VNMC backup and restore with VSM, VSG, and ASA 1000V. You can visit our website to view an extensive list of our lab videos and sign up to get access to additional lab contents. Thank you for watching labmins.com and I will see you guys in the next video.